the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Can you believe they have a bill on the table? That can possibly close down all Federal Reserve banks. Which will mean you will wake up to zero in your bank account. Now you know this just happened to Cuba. All of their banks went to zero. Citizens woke up and couldn't get a dime. It sounds like we are about to go into a massive reset. If they pass this bill, it's about to get crazy. It is about to get crazy in the United States. Wow. Wow. Shalom. Kohala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash, the Bahanders High teachers, the apostles, and the other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the 144,000, the elect men of the nation of Israel that's teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, the worst times in history, man. We see Esau Edom is going to cause certain events to unfold right here in the society and even globally. It's going to reshape your approach, you know, in life, man. You see, and the only solution for to get things back in order, for to find that peace and safety here on this side, according to him, is to ultimately take that sea hill. In which this is where all these roads is leading towards all these disasters, all the famines that's brewing, the store closures, the economy going to shit, you know, bank closures and things like that, which that's what this video was going into, the federal banks closing and things like that. If the bill is passed, people is going to seek, uh, uh, you know, some type of source of relief, man. And that relief that Esau Edom is going to present to you is you receiving that technology, man. You see, so you coming into a time full of snares and pits, you know, and he's going to have it out for you, man. You know, going back, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. You see, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Yeah, and we headed towards the end. Each day, each hour, each second, you're getting closer to the end times in which certain things is going to present itself. To let you know what time and season you in. In which all these store closes and even bank closes. You know, people coming out. You know, the guy was saying you can pretty much go from sugar to shit. You open your, you know, you look at your account and it's zero dollars. You can't get no money out. You see, that's just a road that's leading towards the mark of the beast. The MOTB uh, RFID C hill. You see. It says at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it. It seems to be taking a moment, right? But wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know, you go into that appointed time. Strong's H4150. It says an appointed time. Sacred season. Set feast. Appointed season. Yeah, because the mark of the beast is going to have its own season, man. It's going to come a time where that's going to be the most talked about. You know, it's going to be on every channel, every station. It's going to be presented, fashioned to you, you know. It's going to have its own spotlight, you know, for the lack of better terms, when they finally make the center stage. And you look down here and some of these, uh, you go into the strong definition. You go down here, it says appointed, due, season, solemn, you know. Because it's going to be a level of seriousness in, the, in those times, man. 
because the society that you're living in now is not going to be a society that's going to be playing out when the sea help is uh, being presented because that's going to be a form of salvation to people. You know, like the uh, one of the elites, uh, you know, he quoted the saying, never let a good crisis go to waste. It's going to be some so bad that happened in this society, which ain't the worst times in history. You know, take that in uh, Daniel real quick, the 12th chapter in verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, speaking of the elect, everyone that should be found written in the book, you see. So it's going to be a time of trouble. That people is ultimately going to desire some uh, some form of relief. And the relief that Esau Edom is going to present to you is that sea help. And you taking that sea help to ultimately save your life, you're going to lose it, man. Because you're going to be destroyed in that nuclear fire. You know, uh, real quick, because the Lord tell you, he that seek to save his life. Was that uh, Mark... 8 and verse 35 for whosoever will save his life shall lose it you see and when Esau eat him put you in a in that vulnerable position to where he present the chip and it just makes so much sense to take it if you seek to save your life you're going to lose it man because ultimately you're going to take it you're going to receive a grievous source the scriptures say it's not like the famine and things like that the scarcity of foods the Hyperinflation is going to go away. None of those things is going to go away. It's still going to be there. You're just going to be in straits, a level of difficulty. You know, you're not going to have enough to make ends meet. But it says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it, you see. So it's better to give your life for the sake of the gospel of Yahweh by Hashem was shot and not take it rather than to fall, you know, to the snares of Esau Edom and, and, and take it to ultimately save your life. Feed your family, feed your wife, you know, your kids, and you ultimately lose your life in the end, still, you know, in, in, in war, thermonuclear missiles, you see? But that's what these roads is leading towards. You know, it's leading to the mark of the beast being implemented. You know, and these just the snares and the, you know, the snares before, you know, is uh is presented. You see, cause real quick, this is uh, Matthew chapter twenty four. In verse seventeen, it says, "Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitants of the earth." You read it in the NLT. It says, "Terror and traps and snares." Will be your lot, you people of the earth, you see, because this is ultimately what Esau Edom was coming with in these end times because he knew that he had but a short time. So he's going to cause certain things to unfold in this society that's going to lead people to snares and pits, and it's ultimately going to lead you to taking that sea help, man. And you're going to be destroyed in it. You know, it's the book of Revelations, chapter 13, and verse 16. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bun, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, you see. He called, and in that it says, he required everyone, you know. It says, and that no man may buy or sell, save he, see, save he, that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. You know, so without that, without that device, you're not going to be able to, su to survive in this society, man. And that's how he's going to shape this thing through causing crisis, disasters, you know, famines to grow, insurrections, seditions, evils to increase. The only solution is going to be for you to move into a 15 minute city, get that sea help, you know, because those 15 minute cities going to be highly secured. Things like that, ain't gonna be no crime going on. Everybody's gonna be monitored, easily tracked. You see, because that's ultimately what that mark go into. You know, 
But uh, yeah, this is what these roles is leading towards. And taking that seat help, and that's a sin that you can't repent from. You're also going to be destroyed right here in America, Babylon, the Greek, for being a part of this man's system. If you fight the system, you're going to die with this system. You know? But yeah, I can pray that you was edified, giving our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raha